Bless you. Hi. Hi. Hi guys. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Where have the vids been? I'm a new mom. I'm trying. Before I get into this video, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you click that button down there that says subscribe and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I get new, when I um, upload new videos and stuff, click that little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload. Today's video, I'm going to be doing like new mommy tips. And do not take my tips and think I know everything and I got it all together because I don't, I'm still learning. But while I'm learning, these are the tips that uh, I've like learned myself so far. And I'm sure I'm gonna learn more. And you know, I know there's new moms out there or expecting new mom who would like these tips and would like any advice given, you know, I, I think. <laughs> So we're gonna get into some new mommy tips. And I have a couple, let's get into it. So, and these are not in order like from most important, so it's just a list that I came up with. So my first one is you need to relax and trust yourself and your baby. I don't care what nobody says, when you have that baby, I know it's scary up to the moment, but when you have that baby, it's like, a, a motherly instinct comes automatically. So you need to trust your instinct. If you feel like, oh, I don't know if they're eating enough. Like if you're worried about those things, ask questions, ask your pediatrician. Like don't be afraid because if you question that, then that that's just enough. You don't wanna wonder, oh, what if this is wrong and wait too long and it really is wrong and something more happened. So if you have that gut feeling and you feel like, something's wrong you need to ask questions ask questions in my situation i ask whatever i need to ask because being in NICU for three months it's like i need to know what's going on when it's happening you know why it's happening how it's happening i wanted to be involved that much literally i was there almost 24 7 but i say that to say that I learned you need to ask questions because if you don't, sometimes some doctor is gonna tell you regardless, and some just gonna be assumed that you know. Trust your instinct and trust your baby. When I say trust your baby, a baby eats as much as they want. They sleep when they want to sleep. They do what they need to do. They just know things. My second one is oh, this is so important. I'm still learning this, matter of fact, but this is so important. Sleep when the baby sleeps. Like that's the only way you're gonna get through it. The first months, you have to sleep when they sleep. You have to. You're gonna crash if you don't. I'm Like I said, I'm still learning it. Like I'm starting to sleep when she sleeps, like just now. I'm telling you, it's, that'll help you so much. I'm still a walking zombie at this point, but sleeping when she sleeps, it helps like tremendously. So sleep when that baby sleeps. <laughs> Sleep in that baby. Okay, my third thing. Oh, pre make the bottles. Pre make her bottles for nighttime and sometimes, yeah, daytime if you want too. So you don't get so overwhelmed. I just now learned this not too long ago. What I do now, because in the nighttime, I be knocked out. So when she wake up, I'm literally um like sleepwalking. When I get in that. In the kitchen, I don't feel like making a bottle. Like, you know, I don't feel like doing all of that. So now what I do, I know she wakes up like maybe, the most she'll wake up is three times in the night. But lately it's been like one or two. So I make three bottles before I go to sleep because I know she's gonna wake up those three times at least. So that all I have to do is wake up, go in the kitchen, warm it up, and it's ready to go. Kid you not, I'm so tired at night and when she wakes up, I'm like, why? It makes a difference, you know, so that you don't have to do so much. Next is get into a routine. I'm still learning my routine. I'm kind of getting into it more now. I'm pretty sure like now she definitely knows daytime from nighttime because daytime she wanna play all day. She hardly wanna sleep. And when nighttime comes, she sleeps 
besides waking up to eat but after she eats she go right back to sleep for the most part i know her routine i know when she wants to sleep i know when she's gonna wake up so i prepare myself for that so as long as you prepare yourself for that and you have that routine down packed it's not gonna seem so bad you gotta get your head in the game <laughs> it ain't easy next one um this is a tip for me because i, I don't know if a lot of moms know how important this is. Tummy time is so, 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 so important because that really helps, like, your baby. It really helps them strengthen their, their neck muscles and their arms and stuff while they're, um, while they're growing. Being in NICU, I learned a lot of, like, baby massages and stuff, and she did tummy time a lot. Um, so I got her the little play gym thing and she does that every day. Well, it's really up to them because some babies, they, after two minutes, they're over it. But two minutes helps. Like, even if they do two minutes, try to do it like a couple times a day, you know? Cause that really helps them. Tummy time, tummy time, tummy time. My next one is, this is so important because it speaks to <laughs> No one, no one one knows your baby better than you when you have a baby and you're a new mom of course you have like your mom you have the father's mom you have your dad you have your sister's brother uncle blah 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 you have so many people around you that's gonna have their opinions and their advice and what they think is right and what they think is wrong and what they did when they raised this person what they did when they you know you know your baby okay I love advice. Advice is great. Amazing. I love advice. But at the end of the day, that is your child. Who's raising them? You are at the end of the day. You are the mom. That is your baby. Nobody knows, there's nobody in the world that knows that baby better than you. I know it's overwhelming sometimes with, with so much opinions and thoughts from other people and what they did when they did this and stuff. But it's your decision at the end of the day. You could take from here and take from there and figure out how you can meet in the middle of what you wanna do. But don't let anyone tell you what to do. And how you raise your child is how you raise your child. How the other person raised their child 20, 50 years ago, that's them. Don't feel like you, you're obligated to follow this person, how they raise their child, or follow this person, how they raise their child. Take it as you take advice, you take things from, you know, different people. I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't, give, I don't care <laughs> what anybody else says. Like I said, I love advice, but nobody's gonna tell me how to raise my daughter. Nobody. Advice is great. <laughs> advice is amazing but at the end of the day it's my decision how I raise her and how I raise her next one is enjoy your time with the baby hold on guys I'm gonna go get my kid oh, shoot hmm? he was playing stupid okay right he was playing stupid okay you wanna say hi her hair looks Crazy. I don't think I introduced you guys. Oh, this is my nugget. Hi. You're not gonna say it. <laughs> say it. Say my name is Kaka. Let's go in this link. Alright, we're back. Oh, enjoy your time. That was a great. No transition right on this and direct my car. But yeah. Um, enjoy your time because my baby's still a baby, as you can see. She is gonna be five months in a week. Yeah. But she is two months corrected age. So when I say corrected age from her what her due date was supposed to be, which was July eleventh. But I have one more point. My last thing is ask for help. I say that specifically for the dads. Cause sometimes they think you got it, you know? Don't get angry if you feel like they're not helping or something. Sometimes you just have to ask. Cause they kinda dumb sometimes. So <laughs> you just gotta let them know like, hey, this is a lot. 
I need a break. Yeah, that's all my points for now. This was fun, guys. I hope I helped the new mommies, the mommies to be. And this, and that, and this. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter. I just made my Twitter, so follow me. But um, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They are all linked on my page. Follow me, subscribe, share this video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. This is fun. Love you guys. Yeah, see, gotta go. Bye!